Meet bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Borderlands the pre-sequel news. Today I've got some a uh, little bit more news on the new Claptrap's Claptastic Voyage DLC that is due for release uh, in a few weeks time at the end of the month. Uh, before we get into this though, I just want to apologise if you can hear anything in the background, any background noise. Um, basically I'm uh, actually on a temporary setup right now, sat in my front room downstairs. Normally I'm in, uh, in the back room. Um, but that's currently being redone at the minute. We're having it replastered uh, for my new uh, office gaming setup kind of thing. So looking forward to that. But uh, at the minute, while the plaster is in, I'm having to uh, sit downstairs. And you can probably hear some uh, background noise from all the uh, fish tanks and uh, vivariums and stuff we've got in our house. Uh, so yeah, apologies for that. But we're here for the, uh, the news. So basically, um, just watching a little interview from uh, IGN actually... Um, on YouTube where uh, basically a guy that was uh, talking has uh, played the new DLC and uh, doesn't really give much away nothing major you know he's just talking through the uh, what we already know kind of thing but uh, also a few new things we get to see a few pictures which uh, you can see on screen right now a couple of new enemies and all sorts of things like that uh, so I'll try and link that in the description so you guys can go over and watch it it's a couple of minutes long you know nothing major he talks about the new glitch weapons as well um, just a few effects and things like that. It's pretty interesting anyway, so like I said, I'll try and put that in the description. If not, head over to IGN's uh, YouTube and you can watch the full interview there. But one thing I did pick up on was right at the end of the uh, the interview, uh, the woman asks him, uh, you know, how big is this DLC? And uh, bearing in mind from the file size um, that was discovered, I think it's it's all over the, uh, the Borderlands forum as well. Someone discovered a uh, the file size was about 5 gig or something like that. Uh, and they actually said, you know, this is huge file size for a DLC when it's uh, due to be released. Tiny Tina's was uh, something like just over a gigabyte or something like that. So uh, basically people were thinking, wow, you know, this is going to be one big DLC. Um, you know, probably four times the size of Tiny Tina's and things like that. I was quite excited really. And uh, as this is the only piece of Borderlands pre-sequel map content we're getting as well, you, you know, people were pretty excited thinking, you know, we are going to get a big DLC here. Now, it's not small by the sounds of it, but the guy did go on to uh, to say that uh, he's been told, and uh, from what he's seen, it is about the size of the uh, the Tiny Tina DLC, which is still, I think, Tiny Tina's uh, Salt and Dragon's Keep was, you know, pretty big, really. It was one of the, uh, I think it was the biggest DLC we had for Borderlands 2. But... Uh, yeah, it's not going to be big. It's not good news, guys. I actually uh, was looking forward to it being a huge file size. I was thinking it's going to be a massive DLC. But I just thought I'd let all of you know it may not be as big as we was all expecting. Which is a bit of a shame, really, because uh, this DLC may make or break the uh, the future of the pre-sequel. Uh, you know, it is one of them things where no one seems to be playing it much anymore. And uh, I think a lot of people have left already and have not, you know, coming back for a while. Maybe not even till Borderlands 3. Uh, some people are holding on, seeing if, you know, farmable bosses will come back. Uh, or just expecting this DLC to save it a little bit. But, uh, you know, we was expecting it to be a lot bigger than the Tiny Tina DLC. And, um, unfortunately, according to the bloke in this interview, it's uh, going to be about the same size. Uh, and he said, yeah, I think he actually said, uh, from what I've been told by the, you know, the developers, it's going to be... Uh, about the same size as Tiny Tina, so that's four to six hours. Still a big DLC, really. I'm still looking really forward to playing it, but unfortunately, uh, it may not be as big as we actually thought. So I just thought I'd bring that to you guys anyway, let you know, keep you in the loop. Like I said, head over to IGN's YouTube now, um, and the interviews on there. And uh, yeah, it goes into a few other things. Like I said, shows a few of the uh, the new bosses, talks about a bit about the storyline, and uh, talks a bit about the glitch weapons as well. So uh, yeah, that's it for now. Anyway, that's some more Borderlands news for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whether you're disappointed, uh, I certainly am. If it is true, uh, you know, I wanted it to be to be huge, but I mean, you know, how huge can you make a DLC? I suppose that's totally up to uh, to the guys that actually do make it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Anyway, thought I'd bring this to you. And, uh, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments all of your thoughts. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.